place in a, in a you know fictional town in Ohio. I didn't play pee wee football. We didn't have that sort of thing in Youngstown. The character of uh, Kevin appealed to me because I just found him a very humorous character and uh, you know I knew people like him and so it was a lot of fun. I grew up in Toronto and just played road hockey every night after school so this was a different world for me. American football and that kind of passion in a small town. I, I had nothing to do with any of this in my real life so it was really interesting to see. What's that cheerleader doing with a helmet on? That's no cheerleader, that's my niece Becky. She's pissed. I can relate with being a cheerleader, but I'd rather be out there in, in the action and playing. I mean, I, I'd rather be out there, you know, tackling someone and having fun, catching, catching the pass, than be a cheerleader. I mean, I wouldn't. I don't have anything against it. I think cheerleading is fine, but I'd rather be out there in the game. Danny, this is going to be the longest day of your life. Yeah, we'll see about that. What the hell am I doing? Well, it was a, a fairly straight character, similar to characters I played in a couple of films, and very dissimilar from broader comic characters that I've played in films and television. Sometimes it's hard and sometimes it's easy. What makes it easy is when you work with somebody like Ed O'Neill, who just puts you in the zone right away. And what makes it difficult is other things around you that, you know, just the technical side of things. But if you, if you have a script and you've got a director and and the gods are smiling on you, then it, uh, it, it can go relatively um, easy. Ed and Rick, they're really easy to work with. They're funny. I mean, Ed is no way like Al Bundy. He's just a really sweet guy. And Rick is really nice to work with, too. I mean, he just knows what he's doing, and that just makes the scene go real easy. I mean, I know what I'm doing, Ed and Rick. I mean, they're fun to work with. They're not all that you know, strict, or they're, they're easy going. Do you think I'm pretty? No. I think you're beautiful. My approach has all, always been to treat them really well, you know, to encourage them rather than be uh, critical, which of course is the approach that the, the character I play is a bit critical, you know. But um, I always thought that uh, you get further if you, you know, kind of make them feel good and praise them. One of the writers on this film said something interesting to me. Um, he had run a summer camp for years and he said that there was a change a few years ago where instead of kids just playing all sports, they stopped doing that and only played what they were good at. And I think that's a symptom of this marketing culture that we're in right now. And I think what's nice about this film is it, is it says to kids, just go and play. Play for the fun of it. So I don't know if I can be an inspiration to any kids. Um, I try and be an inspiration to my own. But I think it's nice to try a little bit of everything and to just go in there and try and have fun.